This is SAT 3310. We're continuing our discussion with working with web and network and Python. Uh, this is a, a review of a, an example lab that uh, goes in and downloads a text file, parses, a, parses out the text file, and then goes and queries each server in the, the text file to get a server type, and then ultimately counts and displays those results. Um, in this example, you can see I've started out with just my basic comment block. I'm setting up some variables here. I'm setting up an URL to download a data file from. Uh, I have a, a data file, Fortune 500 Companies. It's a tab-separated value data, fi data file. Uh, I'm setting my data path where I'm going to save it. And you can see I'm also setting up um, some lists here. I'm setting up my um, server responses and website count. I'm setting those to be zeros. I'm going to be using the following modules in this example lab. My Erl lib 2 or I should say Python's Erl lib 2 module, Python's comma separated value module, Python collections module, and Python sys module. First thing is downloading the file. So I'm using a um, open and uh, with that, that, that file being open as writing locally, I'm going to output write the downloaded file that I've read and then always make sure that you close it. Uh, in this example here, let's see, I think one got skipped. Yep, it sure did. Um, to count lines, you can do it with uh, the file that we just downloaded. So you're going to open the local file now and do a read lines. Um, that will count the number of lines in that file. Uh, I've actually done a reducing the length of the website count by one because I know that that first line in that data file is actually a header file. Um, now I'm going to open that local file that I've downloaded and saved. So I'm, I'm opening the data path data file, uh, read text as now my input file file handle. Uh, I want to skip that very first line because I know it's a header file, so I'll do next file handle. And then I'm going to say uh, my new list called my websites. Uh, is equal to the CSV module reader function of that input file using a, a tab delimiter. So this will populate the um, my websites with uh, the company rank, company name, and the website URL. Uh, this loop now is going to, uh, it's a little bit long, but let's, let's work through it together. So for the rank company and website, so those are the three variables that are in that list now, the my websites list, I'm going to say my request is my Earl lib to request function. And I'm also uh, parsing out the, the full HTTP colon slash slash plus website variable that I just defined in the four. And now I'm going to use my try, else, except, done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a try. Uh, and then again, using my URL lib2 with an URL open, um, my request, which again is the uh, fully formed HTTP colon slash slash plus the URL. Uh, so my response is URL open that request with a timeout of five. I'm going to append to my server responses, which again was that um, variable, uh, or the, I should say that list that I set up uh, at the beginning of the script. It's the response info get header of the, the server variable from the server type out of that Earl lib2 response. Um, I'm also going to increment that it's tried one website. So my website count goes up by one. If there is an error, 
So if there's an IO error, what I'm going to do is um, just print, uh, well, actually it's going to append to the server responses an error and it'll also increment by one. So while all this is happening, um, because I also uh, shut off buffering with the import sys, um, I'm going to print on the screen that it's working and it's going to uh, it's going to do a website count of the total number of websites and you can see there I've, I've shut off using sys standard out flush um, so it doesn't buffer and then printing the backspaces will give the illusion that it's updating a single line so again this loop is just going through setting up the complete URL setting the request setting a um, response info of the get header and it's appending it to the server responses list if there's an error it's just going to append error um, in this version here you can see I've actually added a little bit of extra um, logic so I'm saying here in this case if the uh, response info of get header is a null value I'm actually going to append blank else if the um, server has a slash in it I'm going to split it up with that slash and only take the first portion of the slash so basically what that's doing is if you were to get something like Apache slash version three, I don't care about the version three or I don't care about anything after the slash. I just want the first um, portion of it. So basically you see there uh, in red, uh, what I'm just trying to do is add a little bit of logic in there to try to um, uh, try to add some some parsing out logic to those those server type responses uh, when everything's all said and done I'm going to just use my collections module and recall that the collections module has both counter and most common uh, so in this example I'm saying um, my counter is just the collections module dot counter of those server responses so that's the 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 first portion the second half would be dot most common and you could you could type this all out on the same line so your line would now become four servers and frequency in um, collections dot counter my server responses dot most underscore common but that line gets really long so you can see I've just sort of split it up um, so four servers and frequency those two variables in the most common go ahead and print uh i and i i don't know why i just decided i put the frequency first a tab and then the server name and that finishes up the uh the example for this lab